here. Barry Cullen is joining us live. Um, he is part of now, what, the third generation, third generation yeah. of our Aaron Craft that's been coming to QVC since the very first days. Rumor has it that a very special uncle of yours is in town. I know. Oh my gosh, we're so yeah. excited. Um, I'm freaking out a little bit because Barry and all of our Irish friends have not been live in the studio since 2019. March 2020 was a little bit of a difficult moment in the world. It was a hiccup. Huh? And we did uh, uh, the first ever Skype show was actually with all of our it Irish guests. St. Patrick's Day 2020, yes. But they're back. They're here. We're celebrating. We're so excited. And this is a big deal. And Carrie, did you tell me how many of these have all ordered and ordered? Because I know it's been wildly popular, but I was so excited to see Barry in person. I might have missed that. This is, oh my gosh, I got some bee free on me. Don't worry. It's just going <laughs> to come right off. I know. I got suds and everything. There we go. Um, this is our brand new Aaron Craft, the company that's bringing us more colors and more knitwear and more fabulous looks that we've ever had from anybody else. It's a zip front cardigan with little pockets and it's made of 100% merino wool. It is made in Ireland. It is lovingly made in Ireland. And although we will have 24 hours on St. Patrick's Day, we certainly will. on QVC and QVC2, we do not have a today's special value. And please don't hang your sweaters. We just do that to show you the colors. This is $170. It is a big deal price of $139.98. It's on five easy payments. The price is going up at the end of the day on St. Patrick's Day, but snag your size and your color now because we're not gonna have these many back in stock when we have this on St. Patrick's Day and this is new for the week. So we have it in Black Watch. The army green is gorgeous, and it's a marled yarn. So there's a couple colors in there, right, Mar Mary? Marled and plated. Uh, which is so expensive. We'll talk about that in a moment. Here is your charcoal, and then I am in the wine. And then parsnip is at qvc.com, but there's only 400 left in the parsnip, and these are QVC sized, extra, extra large through extra, extra small. So Barry, here you are back in town. Oh, Do you so want to delighted. take us through this design? Maybe we'll of even course. put the green up front, right? So I think we touched on it briefly there. So um, this, uh, this uh, technique we mentioned is called plating. So this is a technique where you get two complementary colors and you feed them you, you feed them when you're knitting at the same time and when they crisscross over each other you get this blueprint or uh, kind of uh, high and low pattern so you can see here while you have this beautiful army green which is in itself is a marl which is a marl is where you've got two threads of complementing colors and they give a beautiful texture uh -huh. we also have this background of cedar green we call it and really what that does is it emphasizes these beautiful patterns and of course the beautiful patterns is what are really people know this type of knitting for so like you've got these beautiful uh, kind of tighter and looser fisherman's cables going down here <clears throat> and the fisherman's cable was always said to be a good luck charm for fishermen on the from the Iron Islands which is where this type of dish were originated from and it was, it was a good luck charm and the promise of a bountiful catch and you can see as you come down the sides here we've got these beautiful honeycombs which is kind of what, one of the most recognizable stitches in our knitwear. And really what that represents is, of course, the honeybee spends all this time gathering, uh, gathering pollen and nectar. And it's really, the, uh, it's a good luck charm for the, the rewards of a job well done, a sweet reward. Oh, and then look at how you guys, I mean, I geek out with knitting. I mean, <laughs> I would say to Grandma Moses, for me, it's knitting. I could not buy merino wool yarn to make the sweater and spend one thirty nine ninety eight. Like I could it's not. So, merino wool is such a commodity oh, now. It's and so, it's, it's so hand expensive. finished. You know, it's all so made in Ireland. Hand so much hand finishing. And you know, when I met your uncle almost, what, 35, 36 years yeah. ago, I still have my first sweater. And so this is an investment. It's like fine, beautiful jewelry you'll see with us at midnight. And you'll see throughout the day from Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. When this price goes up at the end of the day, this will last and last and last. And it really becomes right now your spring jacket. It really becomes now something that when it's freezing cold out, you love to be cozy in merino wool. And I'll take you through the colors again. Especially Here, a little zipper for a, for a transition. I love it's, so, it. it's so easy it's, to just throw on. It's like a little spring jacket or it's a winter her sweater if you put a turtleneck underneath it I only have a little cami underneath this merino wool you can put right next to your skin so this is our green always one of our most popular colors the charcoal you really get to see the plating don't you? yeah it really shows up in that and this is the this is the black background with the charcoal um, on the as, the as the kind of the relief pattern 
I love that a lot of times with the black on TV, we'll say, oh, you really can't see the pattern, but you see but how with the, the charcoal with yeah. the black and like built in pockets and look how they all match. Um, this always is always pockets. one of my favorites, the <laughs> black watch. So if you love black watch plaid, if you've been watching Traders with Alan Cumming, you know that it's there's been a lot of fashion in, inspired by that show. So you, here you really get like the teals and the blues together, this right? This is one of, my, one of my favorite combinations because as you know, as a knitter, black watch is, is a very old, it's, 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 a, it's a very old color. And what it is, is it's two ends. You've got a, a navy end and almost a bottle green or teal end. And what it, 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 just that part alone, it gives this beautiful texture. But then when you've got a background of the solid navy, it really brings it to life and really shows the three dimensional nature, the texture that this beautiful style knitting gives us. And of course, with our, our signature Trinity toggle as well, it's like a, it's like a free piece of jewelry with, it a, is. with every sweater. It really is. And then I'm in the wine. So you can see you've got your deeper color underneath that's almost in the purple family and then the wine on top. What's the best way to care for our sweaters when we get them home, Barry? We always say really the less you do to them, the absolute better. Um, oh, and here comes parsnip. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting about Oh, sure. Most popular and most limited. So this is supposed to last till midnight on Sunday night, which is St. Patrick's Day. Courtney when the was price bothering goes that one up, day last night. We, we do not have a today special value on St. Patrick's Day. We have one. It's not Irish. So this is kind of basically your today's special value. Um, but what's the best way to care for really, it? Really, um, as I, I think as you mentioned earlier on, this is just for demonstration purposes, never hanging a wool sweater because it will misshape. Um, really, because of the beautiful oils, the natural oils that's in the wool, it's a, it's a natural fiber. It's slightly resistant to stain. So we say keep them away from washing machines, whatever you do, if you absolutely must, dry clean them but really the most what we do is we recommend is what we call air washing it's really where you drape them over a clothes horse outside and have some fresh air blow through them I so love it. perhaps if you were around somebody who was barbecuing maybe if mm -hmm. it caught up a little bit of a scent of like maybe a wood fire or something like that that will take care of it and really the less you do to yeah. it the better fold them keep them in out of direct sunlight and really this is something that you can be handing down to your son or your daughter or whoever Truly. And, and, and really as you said like you've had one that, that, that you've had for 30 years. I have sweaters that are going on 35 years. 35 yeah. years and I didn't even have to baby them and then this is your perfect little zip front cardi that you know when you think about Aaron sweaters there are designers that send it down the runway but this one is made in Ireland so Barry is here and you know this show is called it's your time with Jane so I think that we have to talk about Molly just for a minute, Molly Cullen, because oh, she really was a woman. She was a pioneer. She was a pioneer, and she didn't stop growing just because she hit her 50s, right? Absolutely not. So she, uh, Molly Cullen was my grandmother, um, who in 1957 started the Iron Crafts Company, and she, um, like many of her generation, she, wanted to, she went to America with her sister, Etty, and she worked there for many years, but then when she came home to start her business, she needed to get some money from the bank. And of course, being a woman trying to start a business on her own, the bank wouldn't lend her the money. So her sister actually sent the money back from America for her to start the, uh, the company as right. we know it today. And the was, rest is history. Yeah, and the now rest here we are is two generations later. And, and, and going to homes, not only all over the country, but all over the world. So we'll be seeing John Cullen back, Barry will, Cullen, um, Stephen Walsh is here. All our Irish guests are back in the studio. Barry, always right, a pleasure. Love you, Love you so much.